Hello? Hello? My name's Jonathan. John owes me street name. I'm from a little place called Kirby. I went to a pub quiz the age of the week. The first question was, what are you looking at? <laughs> Top prize was an alibi. I, I suffer with a lot of low self-confidence. Um, oh, it's rich, coming from me, study here in me Paisley. But, but yeah, it, it all started uh, when I was a kid. Does anyone here remember MSN? Yeah. Uh, but when I was a kid in school, um, we had a letter sent home. I was in like year seven at the time. We were all using MSN. And we had a letter sent home to all the parents saying that. There was um, a paedophile. <laughs> I had no other kids. And I was the only one in my year that didn't get a friend request. <laughs> <laughs> I could knock me back a few steps, you know what I mean? Simo got one, he's got a limp. Oh, oh yeah. I've got a girlfriend, shocker. <laughs> nah, she's all right, she's a knobhead. <laughs> no, you know what it is? She's thick, but genius as well. Do you know what I mean? Like we went to the Asda the other week. And you know the way you can go to the Asda and you can make your own pizza and it's just fucking boss. You put whatever you want on it and you just take it home and it's a boss night. Well, we did that one night. We picked the film we wanted to watch. We made our own pizza. We took it home. We banged it in the oven, and when we pulled it out, it's time to slice the pizza, isn't it? She pulled out a pair of scissors, <laughs> but they were sewing scissors. I got it, you're gonna the, the length. I said, <laughs> I've not even got to it yet. <laughs> So I said to her, Wait, where's, your, where's your pizza cutter? And she said, oh, I broke it. Well, what do you mean? She went, well, I, I pushed too hard on it. <laughs> I went, what? Like, pressing too hard? She went, no, I used it to cut other things, put under too much pressure, put under too much responsibility. <laughs> I was funny last time. I fucked that up, didn't I? <laughs> you know what? I tell stories usually. I, t I fuck this up. I tell stories usually. Usually I tell a story about Thailand. But I'm going to tell you the story about Amsterdam. Who's been to Amsterdam? I'm not a grass. Here we go, boys. Right, who's been to a sex show? I'm not, I'm not going to say nothing. Not going to say nothing. Right, I went, to, I went to Amsterdam two years ago, right? And I went with my ex, and my ex was a fucking crank. So we went out there because we wanted to go for just like a nice weekend away somewhere, so... I chose Amsterdam, obviously. <laughs> and when we got there, we said, we'll do all the touristy stuff, so we did Madame Two Swords, we did the dungeons, we did the Heineken Museum, and now it's time to do what I want to do. <laughs> so we found one of these sex shows, <laughs> and we walk in. And what I walked into was an elderly lady <laughs> doing an handstand. <laughs> with a candle and an arsehole. <laughs> not the lit end, obviously, do you know what I mean? They're not feral. <laughs> Try walking with my ex, and I just thought, fucking hell, it's mad, that, isn't it? <laughs> it's rude not to stay for at least one drink. <laughs> so we sit down, and uh, she gets off doing her handstand, and she puts her bikini or whatever back on. And she starts asking for people from the audience to come on stage with her. This is the next part of the show. Now, because when I, when I mentioned her age, this is why no one in the audience was putting their hands up. And my girlfriend started to feel really guilty about it. So she said, John, I'll put your hand up, lad. Go on. So I did. <laughs> and she led me on stage, 
and it was a norm, what you'd expect from a sex shop, just a lap dance. And then she told me to lie down. I said, all right then. And then she pulled out this big rubber cock. <laughs> I said, what are you doing with that, Queen? <laughs> so she put it on me, like here, while I was laying down, and she did a thing on it. Then she got up, and she said, open your mouth. And I said, no. But she fucking put it in anyway. <laughs> right to the back of my fucking throat. <laughs> wiggling it about. She gets off and I start balking. I go, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I go back to my seat and I'm pale as a ghost. And my girlfriend just stares at me. My girlfriend at the time, she's going, John, what the fuck did you go up there for? Hey, Sam, I'm John, somebody, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>